Welcome in to a, I don't want to say, it's a special edition. You know what? I'm going to call it a special edition, Grant. It is. This is a special edition of Kicking It. Uh, I'm Jeff Woody. I'm here with Grant Mahoney. And and you're either going to love this episode as a listener or viewer, or uh, you're you're going to get sick of it. You know, and I and I, I don't want to, to necessarily like tee up something that's going to be too great, but we've teased this for a while. I think, I think it's going to be fun. Our loyal listeners got to know what we're getting into. So we are brought to you by Kelderman Manufacturing. Uh, planting season is right around the corner. If you have... As you're looking through the machinery that you have for planting or anything, whether it's trailers or anything like that, and you need some custom fabrication done or laser cutting, Kelderman.com. Uh, we're here in the Wild Rose Casino Studios, and uh, we're going to very briefly talk about what the, the Iowa State seeding itself, and then we're going to get into, like I said, our extremely special bracket that you don't need to fill anything else out. This is it. If you have, if, if whatever your, your brackets are, throw them out, enter this one into what you're going to be doing. So An extremely uh, serious conversation as well. Extremely serious conversation. That's we all also we have here. Just oh, yeah, ex- extremely serious conversations. That's all we have at kicking it. Right. It's a very on task. Um, we are we're also just for the sake of this, because we're, we'll, this one will be as a clean episode because the contents in here are be fun to listen to with like a 10 year old and debate that at dinner. Okay. Um, before we get to what the, uh, the meat of the show is, we're going to talk at least a little bit about Iowa state seating. Uh, because if you're interested in like the actual, uh, you know, the basketball side of it, the what the logistics are be, between all the other shows in the networks. You probably got three hours to listen to. Plus, there's going to be a preview show. Plus, there's going to be events uh, for the, the event with uh, We Will and Cyclone Fanatic at Beer Canale on Wednesday in Omaha. Uh, get to that if you can. If you can't, there's enough content. So really quickly, when the brackets were announced, uh, because, you know, well, first off, how is your hanging out and watching Iowa State absolutely beat the living tar out of Houston? Dude. <laughs> We're, they quit. That was wild. Uh, yeah, at, at the twelve minute mark in in the second half, Houston had mailed it in. They, they had a big guy who has hurt. Yeah, he got kicked in the shin really hard. Yeah, but then I, th- I think you know, I think Kelvin probably looked at that as we're getting our ass kicked. You know, we're we're, we're down by y- yeah a whole bunch. And I would say it had them doubled up at one point in the second half twice. And I'm like, what Twice. are we doing here? They're guys? up by like 26 and 32. Yeah, it was I mean, 64 to 32 at one point. Yeah, I mean, I Iowa think. State opened up the second half on a 25 to six run, I believe, 25 to eight, whatever it was insane houston only scored 18 points in the second half and i think so watching that game and then lead so to parlay that into the actual like selection sunday if iowa state plays like they did in any one of the three games that they played in kansas city they will be fine and here's the hard thing like when just talking about the actual s- selection sunday itself you can say that iowa state got jobbed who picked Florida Atlantic to go to the final four last year? You know, who picked San Diego state to be the national runner up? They were what, like a five seed. I mean, there's no, by the time you get to where you think we're we slash or your team, if you're not an Iowa state fan for whatever reason, wherever you end up, it's going to be a hard thing. The only thing that I don't like about the selection Sunday is that I do really enjoy Drake. I've done broadcasting for him. It, it's kind of sucks because you always like, it feels like, Drake is that like friendly cousin that you're always kind of rooting for. Uh, and they go to a rival school district. But, you know, when you're playing them, you don't root for them. But if they're not playing it, like, oh, yeah, I want whoever Johnston to win some games because I don't go there, but my cousin goes there, whatever. And it feels like that's the case. And that kind of is squashed a little bit because Iowa State's playing them in the second round. That's really the only thing is that like I wish that Drake would have been in another bracket because it makes it more fun to root for the little guy, kind of your hometown team. Uh, but that's really the only thing. It's like, oh man, that stinks. Yeah, that, that's kind of how I felt too. Is I was hoping they'd be on opposite sides of the bracket so that Iowa State and Drake could both make a run. Um, unfortunately, Iowa State, if Drake does beat Washington State, who's good? Um, Iowa State's gonna have to end their their magical season. Um, and it also stinks that Iowa State was closer to a three seed than they were a one seed. Like Iowa State was the eighth overall ranked team. Baylor was the ninth overall ranked team. Iowa State just beat them by fourteen. You know, three four days prior, whatever it is. I th- the, the logic behind this, and I think is uh, it's it is consistent. If not correct, it is consistent. Where, th- and I don't know if it was the Scott Van Pelt thing that that brought up that actually made it the way that it was, but the strength, the internal strength of schedule didn't really count for anything. They only, as far as looking, not only they put way more weight on the external strength of schedule, which is why Kansas was still a five, four, four, four. Kansas still four. So because they had a really strong not or out of conference strength of schedule. So they, they have a really tough matchup first round. Yeah, they do. But they have if you if 
if you had only played good teams in your conference, then it's sort of like a self-validating circle where we're good because other teams are good. Well, the other teams are good because we're good. We're all good. And so that's sort of the logic they were trying to fight against. And so they punished teams that didn't play well outside of conference. Right or wrong, they were consistent across the board. And so the Mountain West got screwed in that, uh, and the Big 12 kind of got screwed in that. Well, play the games. Yeah, and, and that's kind of where I'm at too, is I, I really don't like how they have so much weight on games that happened in November. Like what happened in November is kind of irrelevant to what's going on in March. You know, look at what they've done the last month, whatever though. Iowa State, I think if they if they play, like you said, how they have been, in the in, in Kansas City, if they just focus on who's in front of them and they don't look at future potential opponents, they're gonna be fine. You gotta beat the teams in front, of you anyways. You gotta you have to beat UConn potentially, anyways. If you want to be the best, you gotta beat the best. I, I think if Iowa State plays how they have been and refocused, kind of what we said though, that loss to Kansas State might have helped them. It, yeah, it it allowed like we talked about after that Kansas State loss was it allowed them to when you're skirting by on bad play but you're still winning you can kind of be like it sort of validates the bad they, play they got away from what was making them play so well in in january and early february and then you get humbled and you go hey let's go back and pay attention yep. we were telling you this was wrong and we were telling you this was wrong and now you got to see why it's wrong and it snapped them back into it so i don't know i'm i'm excited for it i think it's gonna be fun i mean it is no matter what the ncaa tournament is fun i mean unless the redacted year was not fun but no. you, you get a win or two, it's all, I mean, it's just great. Like, it's the most fun, exciting time. And then it's also kind of the fun, weird thing as far as rooting interest uh, that you just go from rooting against all the Big 12 teams to now rooting for all the Big 12 teams. Except BYU. I don't want to face BYU. That's true. You don't want to, BYU seems that I don't want to shoot 45 threes a game. Um, but like, you, it's the weird time when you're like, you watch Baylor and you're like, go Bears. Yeah. You know, like you want the your conference to to turn out well. Yeah, except if Kansas State would have made it and they didn't. So and, I'm sorry. And they didn't, yeah. I made the NIT. Yeah. Uh, Our drum tang is still mopping the floor. Yep. He's really into cleanliness. Uh, so brackets wise, I normally fill out three brackets. The first is a gut bracket, which is like first look at it. Like you are no more likely to get more accurate without any you, research. Without any research, is like you look at it and go, uh, San Diego State versus UAB. Who do you think is going to win? You have two seconds to decide. Click one and then just fill it out. Gut bracket. Boom. Gut. Next one's a heart bracket within reason. So like, I'm not going to pick a 16 over a one because that just doesn't happen enough to be, mm. Mm, but it doesn't happen no. enough to actually like make it legitimate. So you're like, which ones do you want to win? Iowa State always wins the heart bracket naturally. Uh, and then my dear friends is the mascot fights bracket. Oh, you don't, you don't have like a research bracket. No, oh. no, absolutely not. It's just three. Oh, yeah. uh, and uh, the mascot fights bracket. That's what we're going to bring you today. So, uh, this is going to be brought to you by Goldfinch Athletics. And uh, go to goldfinchathletics.com slash jobs. We are hiring right now. We have full-time position available in Ankeny. We also have part-time positions available, and that will be updated hopefully in the next couple of weeks as we hopefully add more positions that we're going to be looking for. But uh, the mascot fights bracket. We're going to get in some ground rules. Aiden, for those that are watching on YouTube, Aiden's going to be following along on the ESPN bracket pick em to be able to just fill out who, who's actually going to be going on here. So the rules for this. Aiden, play the music. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, Jeff. Thank you. Um, I don't think that was it. Nope. Okay. Uh, anyway, so let's go. The rules for this are: we're not talking about who would win in a fight between Psy and Herky, for example. Which Psy? We know that. But you're who would win in a fight between a Cyclone and? A Hawkeye, whatever that is. You're trying the actual... The eyeball of a hawk. The eyeball of a hawk. So not it's, gonna, not gonna okay, so fights. what is the actual thing that the mascot is trying to celebrate or not trying to emulate? So like uh, if it was, I don't know, go down the state, Mississippi State Bulldogs versus Michigan State Spartans. W what would win between a Spartan and a Bulldog? That's it. We'll get to it. To the death. Like that's what we're trying to go to, to the death. Now, here's some things that we have to get to. First off, uh, it is... If it's a plural, the mask, ma almost all team names are plurals. Cyclones, Bulldogs, Spartans, they are plural. You just singularize that and you're saying it is one of 1v1. One one. However, they're not in the tournament, but a team like Marshall well, is the Thundering Herd. Ne ne uh, Nevada Wolfpack. Wolfpack, exactly. And so the Thundering Herd. 
That is a herd of buffalo. So it's one singular version of whatever the plural is. So the Nevada, Nevada wolf pack, NC State wolf pack, that's, that's a pack of wolves. That's not just one. So if it's the wolves versus the wolf pack, advantage wolf pack. Secondary, uh, we're, there are teams like the Duke Blue Devils. It's not actually like a mythical devil. It's what is the original thing named for if we're trying to nail that down. So part of the fun of this is actually going to be just like the Baylor Bears, Bear, Big Scary, Florida Gators, Big Scary. We that That's easy. We know why they're named that. But like the Alabama Crimson Tide, what is that? What is the Crimson Tide? We'll get into it. We'll get into it. I think that's a great segue into our first matchup. So the first matchup that we have, we're going to start in the Eastern region. It's the Yukon Huskies versus the Stetson Hatters. Grant. What in the hell is the Stetson Hatters? Yeah, so uh, the Stetson Hatters, so a hatter is a person that makes and sells hats. Okay, got it, great. Um, and Now, so, why are they called the Stetson Hatters? So when it was founded in 1888, the university was, was known as DeLand Academy after Henry DeLand, founder of the town and the school. Yeah, it's in, in Florida. Yep, it's where Chantrell Johnson grew up. In, in 1889, DeLand, it was renamed after John B. Stetson, the got inventor it. of the, the iconic cowboy hat. Yep, the big old uh, hats that people was, wear down in Texas. Who was a major donor to the university. So they are named after John B. Stetson, who was presumably a hatter. A hatter. He made hats. So it's a guy who makes hats versus a husky. I I'm, think husky. I'm going to take the husky. I'm going to take a husky. Yeah. So we're no, gonna, no, 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 no. This is not just some ordinary hat. This is a cowboy hat. This is a cowboy hat. We can't assume additional firearms or additional weaponry. We, we don't know where the hat's going. We don't know where the hat's going. It's a, going. It's a guy who's making, he's in a shop <laughs> and he's making his hat in the shop. Because you're not just a hatter. Like you could be a, a cop and like if you're a policeman, you'd have a sidearm or whatever. But if you're off duty, then you're, you might carry it. You might not, but you're just at the gym. You're just going to be working out. That's, that's not the case. You have to be on the job with what you're going to be doing. That would be another rule. We're going to find new rules as we go to clarify where we're going to be. So unfortunately, this this Hatter's uh, steamer he used to, to fit and shape hats was not enough to take on the Husky. No, it, that Husky is going to be, it's a big aggressive dog. It's a lot of fur. I mean, just to, to bite through, it's a lot. It, it's, that's not necessarily a great matchup. UConn's moving on. Uh, next matchup, the Florida Atlantic Owls versus the Northwestern Wildcats. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a scary bird. Kind of versus a scary cat. Cats usually eat birds. I think this is actually legitimately in the food chain. Like I think a yes. wild cat actually probably eats an owl. Yes. Yeah, but if it's a, if it's hey. just a small little kitty cat. Hey, we're not going to have like, you derail this, man. Hey, you, you. This is we. This is science here. We are talking about science, Aiden. So, and uh, there, we're going to get into some. Uh, uh, there's another rule that we'll have to like reveal as it shows itself because there is a conditions for who's going to win what. So. Florida Atlantic Owls versus Northwestern Wildcats. Wildcats, move Wildcats on. win. I mean, there's a birds do not fare well. They don't in, in this. There is there one, are some. There is one there are some the, uh, birds of prey tend to do better. Uh, also, sadly, dogs don't great, do great in this. At a certain point, they're going to advance out of the first round in some matchups, but they usually run into bigger, better forces of nature. Yes. Uh, next matchup: the five twelve, the San Diego State Aztecs versus. I mean, this is going to be low key, hard to beat the UAB Dragons, uh, the UAB Blazers. Blazers, excuse me, which is a dragon. Well, so the UAB's uh, athletic history goes back to 1977 when Gene Bartow was named the school's first athletic director. In, in January 1978, a campus-wide vote bestowed the name Blazers on the team, hoping that the team would blaze a new trail in college athletics. Mm. So now we're going to go guy who's blazing a new trail or an actual dragon. We got to go with. The they're the Blazers. We're not going with the mascot because ah, if we okay, did that, we go with the 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 elephant. That's true. We'll Alabama. get to Crimson Tide. So, so we have to go with guy who's just walking a new path against the hiker, Aztecs, more or less a hiker. Yeah, and, and the Aztecs uh, they were so accomplished in combat that they eventually forged an empire which covered two hundred thousand square kilometers. At the height of their power, the Aztec civilization extracted uh, tribute from three hundred and seventy-one city states across thirty-eight provinces. Uh, advantage Aztecs. I then. think Aztecs are going to win. So one. the dragon, the UAB, if it was a dragon, it that's a hard dragon. to beat. Hard to beat, but it's the blazer. So uh, it's just a guy who's cutting a trail through a forest. Yeah. Not exactly. I mean, the, the Aztecs. He, he, he's at the forefront of what he's trying to do. He's trying to blaze. But the Aztecs literally live in a forest. I mean, it's 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 in the rainforest. It's in the, but this guy, this this guy's a blazer. He just you know he's he's wandering around with just his hands in his pocket. You got Aztecs. They got mm, weapons and stuff. Singular, singular Aztec. One singular. An Aztec versus that guy. Still, I would still take. Yeah, him. still I mean, take. Yeah, can Aztec. you imagine that walking up to a dude who's got a, a, a spear with an arrowhead on the top and his shirts off and he's 
resistant Very, to mosquito bites. Yeah, nicely tanned. Yeah, that's muscular. Okay, settle down, Grant. Uh, next matchup, the four, the four thirteen, the Auburn Tigers versus the Yale Bulldogs. Okay, do you know what? Uh, so the Yale Yale has a real mascot, a real bulldog. Is you know he what, adorable? He is. Do you know what his name is? No. Handsome Dan. Oh. Oh, that's handsome so much. Dan. That's so much worse than what's going to happen. Unfortunately, handsome Dan is going to die to a tiger. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's not good. I don't think if you put a bulldog. I mean, tough, tough. It's unfortunate. But just too cute. It's not it great. Uh, okay, so now we're going to get into some weird ones in the next little bit. Uh, so the next one, six eleven, BYU Cougars. Yep, pretty straightforward. Duquesne Dukes. Yep. So Ooh, okay, do you want to get a little bit? Here. Yeah, so Duquesne Duke. So a, a Duke is a man dressed in a top hat, uh, tails, and a regal sash across his chest. So why did Duquesne get their name, the Dukes? You may be wondering. So their name dates back to 1911. Um, so it's now Duquesne University. Uh, changed its name to honor Marquis du Duquesne, the French governor of Canada, who first bought, uh, f- who first brought uh, Catholic observances to the Pittsburgh area. So that'd be like calling them the Woody Wood. It's it's just naming him after a guy. So it's a, a governor in the early 1800s who's like a, a politician-ish versus a cougar. Yeah, I'm going to take the cougars. Yeah, I think the cougars probably got it. Yep. Uh, good for Duquesne. I mean, it's a, a regal place. Interesting name, though, like Duquesne Dukes. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's Dukes is short for Duke. Duquesne. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's really... They went deep in the barrel for that they one. They did. Uh, I believe more okay, so Moorhead State. I gotta make sure they had this uh Illinois versus Moorhead State. Illinois fighting Illini. So it's the Illini it was a collection of Indian tribes around the northern Indiana area as it was sort of established. Yep. And Moorhead State is the Eagles. Eagles. So so Illini, it comes from uh Chief Illini Illini Weck. I, I apologize if I'm butchering that, uh, which symbolizes the Illini. So they they actually don't technically have a mascot right now. I don't know if you knew that or not. I I would imagine there's some cultural appropriation problems. Yep. So in 2020, uh, the students elected, um, the, the the student body voted for a preliminary proposal to adopt a new mascot, the belted kingfisher, Gah. which is a is a small bird. Little bird. It's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> kingfisher. Um, uh, I think the Illini is, If we're talking about the actual like an Indian versus an eagle. Yes, I I think an Indian looking at you know the. A Native American. Let's actually call this the right way. So, like a Native American versus an eagle. They, it, this feels like it's happened so many times in, across history. Again, advantage Native American. Yeah, well, and I would say it too because, like, you you look at like the the, the vintage Illini logo. You know, he's kind of got feathers around his whole head. I imagine some of those are some maybe of those are probably eagle probably feathers. Eagle feathers. Yeah, so eagle I'm feathers gonna say uh, Illini. Yeah, Illini, Illini advance. Uh, right. Next one, Washington State Cougars. We got another cougar. Uh, versus the Drake Bulldogs. Another Bulldog. That's yeah, another Bulldog. Griff uh, Griff recently, there is Griff 1. So there's Griff 1 and Griff 2 because they share duties. There's there's two Griffs currently at Drake. Well, there formerly was two. RIP Griff 1. Mm-hmm. Uh, original OG Griff. I believe there is a plan to replace Griff 1 so that Griff 2 doesn't have to have such a high workload because he's too cute yes. to be responsible for so much responsibility. That's right. Uh, so do you, do you know what their... their uh... Like costumed mascot is uh, what his name is. I should, but I don't. Spike. Oh, I did know that. I did know that. Yep. Uh, so yeah, sorry, we had to. Just Bulldog Cougar. Yeah. Not a good matchup. Sorry, Griff too. Uh, Iowa State tends to do well in the mascot bracket versus the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Go and get God, Jackrabbits. I mean, so this is. It's not like it's uh because it's it's both a tornado and a tropical storm. And for those that don't know, I mean, I don't know the exact years on this. A lot of the the names that the teams harbor are actually from sports writers, and some we'll get into some of them later. Yep. But uh, Iowa State, the reason why they're the Iowa State Cyclones is that they initially were the Iowa State Cardinals back in the when it was just the Iowa State College. And hence why, hence why, our card, Cy, our card, our, co- our colors are also cardinal. Exactly. So they used to be the Iowa State Cardinals back in the twenties, I believe. They went either teens or twenties. They went and played Northwestern in Chicago, and. They the team did so well that a sports writer from Chicago writing about the game said that this team, the team from Iowa or from Ames, from the Ames, from the Ames, <laughs> the Ames, uh, the team from the Ames, you know, washed over the Wildcats like a cyclone. And then the administration was like, 
we like that better. Yeah. And they just stuck. And so it became from a sports writer, it became the Iowa State Cyclones instead of the Iowa State Cardinals, which is why Cy is a Cardinal. Iowa State is Cardinal. And the reason why an inland state, potentially the most inland state, has a tropical storm as a name. Because also, cyclone. You know the difference between a cyclone, a typhoon, and a hurricane? Nope. Geography. Huh? That's it. Cyclone, I believe, spins in the uh, in the um, Indian Ocean. Uh, hurricane is in the Caribbean and the Atlantic, and a typhoon is in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. That's it. Interesting. That's the difference. Why do they have different ones? Why can't a cyclone be in the... Uh, I don't know. What's the difference between a cyclone and a typhoon? I yeah. think it's the same thing. I, I believe it's the same thing. There's there's probably like a meteorology student that's screaming at his phone right now. Be like, oh, you moron! There's different wind speeds and just instances with jet streams. It's, okay, correct, perhaps. But anyway... Uh, that's why an inland team is named after a tropical storm. So Love it though. cyclones do well in this bracket. Uh, Jackrabbit doesn't stand well. Okay, we're going to move on now to the West region. Uh, so the North Carolina Tar Heels, there's another rule that we have because it's the first pigtail. Uh, we'll talk about it, but it's just hard to pick who actually ends up winning between the pigtails because it just slaps the, the, the slash on here. Uh, so really the teams that are playing the pigtails get a buy. So how wag. How wag, which is H O W slash W A G is the abbreviation ESPN for how wag. Uh, Howard and Wagner. Wagner. North Carolina Wagner was the first school to offer me. Interesting. Oh, congratulations. Yes. And they're like a top, they're in New York, a top, like a, uh, like a hill. Oh, very scenic uh, university. Yes. Pretty. Yeah. Uh, so North Carolina Tar Heels and the Howard Bison and the Wagner Seahawks. Seahawks. Uh, so anyway, the Tar Heels win, but. Since we're, this first round is a lot about ex exploration as to what things are, what's a Tar Heel? Um, all I really found was that someone who worked in a lowly trade. Yeah, so uh, I remember doing this. We tried to do this once with uh, Christofferson and uh, Stansberry, and it was Jared and uh, Scott talking very intelligently about basketball, and then there's me being like, I think a duck wouldn't win in a fight. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Moving on. So, uh I actually did Tar Heels. It was shipbuilding. And so to, to waterproof a ship back in the 1700s, throw some tar you on had to throw it. some tar on it because it then waterproofs the ship. And so if you're putting tar on stuff and you were the one that put it in there, you probably got tar on your boots or tar on your feet. And so as you were walking, it said, I worked in manual trades if you had tar on your heel. So that became like a hardworking, it's Blue collar. sort of like dirt under your fingernails, tar on your heels, that kind of thing. So it became Tar Heel. So the Tar Heel state guy who worked on a ship putting tar on waterproofing a boat so hard-working guy uh probably strong hands for for future reference but uh would, would be great at kelderman manufacturing would probably. be great at kelderman manufacturing i don't know if they worked with a lot of metal because it's just wood wood ships. strong hands though strong hands i wonder if that's i didn't dive this deep and i wonder if that's where the colors are blue because blue collar ah light blue baby blue collar yeah well duke was already blue so they couldn't that's true the they couldn't color. be that same blue uh next one eight nine game Mississippi State Bulldogs versus Michigan State Spartans. <sighs> we have to do a lot of bad things to dogs. Yeah, so unfortunately, I don't think there's too many Bulldogs that are that are playing against birds. Um, Mississippi State's Bulldog, their live mascot is Bully, the, okay. English, the English Bulldog. Come on. Come on. Very we, original. We need to quit saying their names, I <laughs> think. <sadder. laughs> Goodbye, Bully. I'm sorry, Bully. There's a Spartan. I mean, you can assume that the Spartan does have at least a sword. Yeah, they and are. A, and uh, a shield. A native or inhabitant of ancient Sparta. Which we've all seen 300. And that's... Uh, some bad mother truckers. Bad mother truckers. So next matchup, we got some two weird ones. We got to go on some history on this one. This is the St. Mary's Gales mm -hmm. versus the Grand Canyon Antelopes. Yep. Can you back give some background on here? Y yep. So let me just dive into St. Mary's first. So Gales is just an Irish person. Okay, got it. Neat. Yep. Moving on. Uh, Grand Canyon Antelopes. So... An, an antelope has been Grand Canyon University's mascot since 1981, replacing the first mascot, which was, they say, a furry purple blob known as the Purple People Eater. Aiden, will you pull this up for us? <laughs> this is an audio medium predominantly. <laughs> but if, if if you're not looking at, um, I'm going to say it, if, if you're not looking at, uh, I just, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, when you go to the grocery store the birds and, and, the bees. and you, you grab one of those like plastic sacks and you just put two peaches in there and, uh, then you, those peaches must be extremely hairy. <laughs> that's, <laughs> and you draw some eyes on that. It looks like a very sad ball sack with, with eyes, <laughs> a very hairy ball sack with eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> we tried to keep this one clean for your kids. Don't uh, worry about we birds couldn't and do the birds it. And the bees and we forth. couldn't do it. Just Google it if you're just as long as you're not <laughs> as long as you're not driving. This is it's just horrifying. The purple people leaders uh, from Grand Canyon University. I'm so glad they got rid of that thing because that's terrifying. Yeah, it's yeah. So it's it's an Irish person versus an antelope. I, I want to give it to I want to give it to Grand Canyon simply for whatever that thing whatever is. that thing is. Just when in doubt, I feel like the the horns, yeah, like the antlers would be, I mean, adv- advantageous. I'm in this. Irish. I feel like it says the Irish person probably had a couple Guinness, and so the Easy. antelope. I'm Irish. Stereotypical it was, man. It was St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Man. That's true. I say that. Um, had myself a Guinness. It was nice. Um, haven't had them for a while. I'm going to say antelopes. I'm going to say antelopes moving on. I agree. Because okay. you can't assume that the Irishman, Irishman has any tools. Okay, next one. We have uh, the Alabama the, as the four seed versus Charleston as the 13. We all know the Crimson Tide. We have to get into what the Crimson Tide is. Yep. So first, what is Charleston? Charleston are the cougars. Another cougar. Okay, big scary animal. Yep. Alabama Crimson Tide. Where does that come from? Yep, so um, Alabama's football team was first known as the Thin Red Line or the Crimson White, as the story goes, that changed on a soggy day back in 1907 when Alabama went to Birmingham to play heavily favored Auburn. Birmingham's iron-rich soil turned uh, turned to a sea of red mud, which stained Alabama's white jerseys. Hence, and a sports writer wrote that it looked like a Crimson Tide. Yep. So, Crimson Tide... Uh, are we going to go, and their their nickname is Big Al, because I believe an additional story from doing this research on this last year, the year before, was that it was, they are as physical as, and made as much sound as an elephant. And so that's where Big Al comes from, is the elephant. And then Crimson Tide is sort of just like a, a bunch of football players. Are we going to go with that? I mean, I don't even know. I feel like it's like muddy jerseys. Yeah, it's like muddy, just clay, clay. But it's got to so be like clay so the jerseys. tide I don't know. Would you, would you want to go with elephant for the sake of simplicity of it? Because it's just like a mush of yeah. I mean, it's just a mush of football. Play. I mean, I got actually. Let's do this. Nineteen oh seven football team. Is that is that okay? We go with nineteen oh seven football team. I feel team? like the Cougars would probably still probably good. I mean, by numbers, I'm curious to see what happens down the road with Alabama. So I think I want to advance Alabama over Cougar because it's multiple. People. We're going with the 1907 football. The 1907 team. football team. Leather helmets. Yeah, leather helmets. Uh, be, be a cougar. Yeah. We're going well, there's that. 11 of them. There's 11 adults. So you're going to lose a couple, but assume that you can restock the team for the next round. How would they kill this cougar with their bare hands? I mean, hand, fists, rocks. Are you gonna, I mean, you, you just get a pile on snap, it. Snap this guy's neck. This I guess. Cougar's neck. I I just think that volume of this you of 11 toes? 11 humans, I think, could take down one cougar. Okay. We'll just go with it for the sake of not having too many cougars. You can kick it. There's going to be a zillion, there's gonna be a yeah. zillion cougars and bears okay. in this next one. Sure. Uh, so we're going to go with the uh, 1907 football team that the Crimson Tide is named right. after. Uh, next one, on. Clemson Tigers, uh, big scary animal, versus the New Mexico Lobos. What is a lobo? A lobo is uh, lobo is wolf in Spanish. So it's just a wolf. Yep. So a tiger, tiger versus, versus wolf. wolf. I think tiger. Okay. Yep. Tiger's big, scary. Animals. Tiger's moving on. Wolf is, they're pretty big and scary, but not quite, not, tiger. Not quite there. Uh, so the next one is the Baylor Bears, which based on their mascot appears to be a grizzly bear, which is not necessarily indigenous to East Texas, but we're going to go with it anyway, uh, versus the Colgate Raiders. C- can I can I go back one thing on Alabama that I had my notes? So um, I, I, was, I was doing some research that if a, a cougar and an elephant were to to, to fight who would win and what i found was that if it is an african bush elephant they're virtually impossible to kill it's true that's what yeah it, do i mean we could do elephant because it's different versus 1907 football team let's go with an african bush elephant let's go with african bush elephant that's going to be hard to beat okay is that hard is that beat. native to alabama it is not native to alabama we don't necessarily have to go with truly indigenous because uh, I, I don't believe tigers are native to anywhere in north america so blank park zoo blank park not native to mm, you don't know and, uh okay so baylor bears which is going to be a grizzly bear versus colgate raiders uh raiders to my knowledge is just going to be person who steals stuff correct basically it, it's just al davis it's just <laughs> steal or raid it's mark davis with the, yeah. the cut right across the front the bowl cut uh so it's just guy with a, we can assume that he's got some sidearms uh but he's he may or may not have a horse let's call it let's say he has a horse uh, has some sidearms, but it's 
He's just gonna be a person who steals stuff. It's like a it's a thief from like the. We don't know what he's stealing. What he, he's could stealing be, he could be stealing jewelry. He could be stealing guns. He could be stealing ladies' panties. We don't know what he has in his hands. But the Baylor Bears, Grizzly Bears, are. Bear, you got it pretty bad. Uh, you're, that's uh, Grizzly Bear advantage. Like yep. you, you got to hit them with some serious, serious stuff. Yeah, your little uh, pearl necklace is not going to knock them out. Yeah, it's not going to take them down. So we're going to go Baylor Bears advancing. Moving on, uh, Dayton Flyers versus the. E, what do we got? The Nevada Wolf Pack. Nevada Wolf Pack. Okay. Dayton Flyers were named after a fighter pilot or fighter plane. Okay, go for it. So right. so the name references, uh, it's it's homage to Daytonians, Orville and Wilbur Wright, who pioneered um, heavier than air flight. So they designed the Wright Flyer uh, and fabricated many of, its, many of its opponents, including the propellers and engine at their bicycle shop in Dayton. So, so they were named after. So this isn't a fighter pilot. This is the first. Plane this is ever the first made. plane, the Kitty Hawk thing, because yeah. he was from Dayton. This is basically a kite. It's a kite. It's a kite that you can ride on. It's like a glider. It's a glider. So it's it's Orville and Wilbur Wright versus a wolf pack. Nevada's hard to take down. That's, I mean, wolf. We need to get a dog to the second round too. It, several. This is several canines. So the Nevada wolf pack, great. And now we're going to get to so advantage Nevada. Nevada. Yep. Uh, now is my favorite, absolute favorite mascot. N- not just mascot, but th- their story is wild. It's okay. So n- the the final one in the West region is Arizona Wildcats, big scary cat, whatever, uh, versus Long Beach State. Now you might be wondering, what's the mascot for Long Beach State? It's the beach. It's the, the Long Beach State Beach. Their their mascot is LB the shark. So the Long Beach State Beach, what they're usually referred to as Long Beach State dirt bags. Not kidding. And the reason behind the Long Beach State dirt bags is, uh, let me find it. There is a the, the coach that was in the 1980s. I lost the story here. Uh, so then infield coach in the, they used to be called the 49ers. And in 1989, then infield coach Dave Malpass would take his infielders to the all dirt field for their rigorous workout. The infielders would return to their regular practice field after their sessions covered covered in dirt. Thus, the name Dirt Bags was born. So the baseball team goes by the Dirt Bags. They are the beach. Okay. I, I couldn't, yeah, I kept looking up. I was like, it kept saying Long Beach State Beach Beach Athletics. I'm like, what is their name? They're a beach. It's just a beach. That's all it is. So the story, though, with, with um, Long Beach State, their coach and AD met um, last Monday. So today we're recording the 18th. They met on the 11th and decided to part ways. Mutually, apparently. Yep. And he was like, you know what? I've I've owed I owe to these guys. I'm going to coach them through the conference championship, through the conference tournament. They won the tournament. Yep. And that is how they're in. And he actually was at Gonzaga before Mark Few, so he's been around a little bit. So, Wildcat versus Beach. How do you beat a beach? It's not a living thing. Man, this is this is an odd. Do we have to go with the shark then? Because it's a it's a thing that's, I mean, because neither is a cyclone's not a living thing either. Or, or do we go with the dirt bag? You go with the but dirt bag. A cyclone does something. Yeah, a cyclone does the something. Beach a is beach just, is just it's, exists. It's just there. So I, this is such a peculiar. A, a beach has claimed some lives before. Though. That's true. Uh, do we go with the shark just for well, the sake of having the beach? Thing? Do you get like the ocean as part of it? Or how far into the water no, do you get? It's just the sand, right? That's 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 the ocean. Okay. So, so we're talking just the sand. Just the sand. So like you could shove, theoretically shovel it off, right? Like if we're talking about just how do you theoretically kill a bee, you just have to have enough patience. A wildcat could, yeah, could scoop it all in It could the scoop ocean. it. In, I mean, depending It'd on how, what's the time. section of the beach no, see, that you're I, doing. I think you're telling you like that, like that cat's going to get tired. <laughs> Maybe heat exhaustion would kill him from trying to scoop I, the beach. I think the beach wins. Okay, we're going to go with the beach. We're going Long, sea, we're going long, long beach, state, beach. The Long Beach State Beach. Long Beach State Beach Dirtbag Sharks. Boy. What a peculiar series of names. Uh, okay, we're going to go to the South region. We're halfway through, everybody. This first round takes most of the time because we got to get a little bit of backstory. Uh, so the Houston Cougars versus the Longwood Lancers. What's a Lancer? Um, is a soldier of a calver- cavalry. Cavalry. Uh, cavalry, yep. Cavalry. Okay. Cal- Cavalry's where Jesus was. Okay, whatever. Uh, regiment armed with lances. A lance is a long weapon for thrusting. Uh, having a wooden shaft and a pointed steel head. Why did you say those words like that? I don't know. I'm not sure what words I said with what way. Why did you say what? Which way? Uh, Lancers. Yeah. 
Lancers, where do you get off? Lancers were normally equipped with sabers and pistols or carbines, which are like machine guns. Oh, boy. That's uh, this dude is loaded. Oh, yeah. He's, this dude's horseback. He's strapped. He's, he's strapped. strapped. He's got a lance. He's got a sidearm. He's got a, a machine gun and a saber. How does, I mean, God bless it. Longwood. That's that taking down a cougar. They're not the Longwood Longwoods, though. I'll tell you that. No. Oh, Longwood Lancers is a good show. Kid friendly. So I think the Longwood Lancers might Lancers, be moving on. Yeah, Lancers are going to move on. I mean, you could. They're strapped. They, they could keep so much distance between them and the cougar with the big pointy stick and like a machine joust, gun. It's like jousting. Yeah, it's like jousting. You just. With a sharp. Next one's fun. Uh, so the 8 9 matchup is the, the Nebraska Cornhuskers versus the Texas AM Aggies, which is. Farmer versus farmer. Correct. So, <laughs> okay. Flip a coin, I no, guess. I, I think Texas A&M because Nebraska is just farming corn. Uh, A&M is... Agriculture generally. Could Correct. combine tractor? Correct. Could theoretically have? I mean, Nebraska could have a combine as well too, but I just think... It, it's we're not we're not including equipment we're just including the the farmer yeah i i would think and no disrespect to farmers out there someone who is is farming more than just corn they might be tougher more endurance than someone who is that is just doing corn i mean or just is it the guy who's just hus like back in the day where you're just manually just husking corn like well a and m's probably also do that too that's true what if a and m is just like carrots or lettuce it's just just like a gardener just farming just turnips yeah uh, I think we no just have to flip a coin here. Farmers. Uh, and can we give Fred the nod? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's tiebreaker. Yep, tiebreaker. They have well, Fred. Well, can, can I maybe convince you? Sure. A and M uh, has a real life mascot. It's a Shetland sheepdog. It's cute. Advantage them. Okay. They're in the, and they're not the bug eaters. So, uh, it was legitimately a thing. That's not an insult. That's what Nebraska used to be. If you weren't familiar, they they were at one point the bug eaters. <sighs> that's so much better than corn huskers. Uh, next one, Wisconsin Badgers. The Wisconsin Badgers versus the James Madison Dukes. We have another Duke, different origin. Yeah, this this one, I think there's just dogs. Oh, I, it's just a oh, like a like a. I don't really look it up, but their mascot's a dog. A, Aiden, just are you a able to pull up their mascot? Um, yeah, it's just uh, their mascot's just a dog. I didn't really it's look. It's a into big their, Great Dane. So Great Dane versus a Badger. Yeah, more or less. I don't think it's like uh, I don't think James Madison. I don't think they are also named after uh, Pierre du, Dumont. He's probably named after. James or, or Mar Mar Marquis uh, de Dumont. No, Marquis uh, de Duquesne. Duquesne. Yeah. yeah. Marquis de Duquesne. Oh, he's yeah, adorable. So, yeah, he, he is he's, adorable. He's, we, we're looking at the screen. Uh, he he has a, a cute little hat. You know what? If if that thing was standing next to me in the middle of the night when I was sleeping, though, I would be... No, no, no. Not that one, Aiden. No, that one's cute. cute little, they actually have a dog. It's So it's more of a bulldog. Yeah. Why do you keep showing... This is a cute dog, and he's playing a badger. Yeah, so I, if, if this thing, if, if this thing, this mascot was standing next to me in the middle of the night, and I woke up to it, I would be frightened. It's not the purple people eaters. No, it's not. Worse. Uh, so uh, advantage badgers. Yep. Uh, next one, the Duke Blue Devils versus the Vermont. Anybody got that, Aiden? Before what is it? Catamount. Okay, you know what a catamount is? Kitty. It's a mountain lion. Mm -hmm. Cat of the mountain. Catamount. Uh, so. What is so like I said, Duke Blue Devils is not a spiritual demon origin of Duke Blue Devils. Yep. So beyond the obvious fit with colors, Blue Devils served as an ode to the I'm gonna butcher these uh Chasseur Alpins, also known as Les Diablos Blues, the Blue Devils, a French military unit in World War One that wore blue jackets and had impressed many Duke students and alumni returning home from the western from the western front. So they were Soldiers that fought in the mountains in their French soldiers that fought in the mountains in France. So they do have a firearm. Yes, they do have a firearm and it's World S War One. They have sniper rifles, sniper well rifles. Up. So they uh, advantage do blue devils. Yep. Hard, hard to get a hold of uh, Virginia catamount or excuse me, Vermont catamounts. Well, again, I catamount mountain lion, uh, cougar and catamount. All the same thing. Just yep. depends on where it is. Yep. So Duke's going to be on, on a different mountain away from this catamount and they're going to snipe them. Sorry. See ya. Uh, next one. The Texas Tech Red Raiders versus the NC State Wolfpack. So we have one Red Raider, which is just, again, Raiders. He's just wearing red now. Same thing. Guy who steals stuff. Uh, he does have guns. does have sidearms. But again, we're playing a Wolfpack. Yeah, so looking at Texas Tech, um, so in 1926, a group of students selected their colors as scarlet and black because those represented a Matador's colors. Mm. And then in 1936, a, there you go, a sports editor for the Lubbock 
Lubbock Morning Avalanche, which is weird. Why would you have Avalanche? Them? Avalanche in a desert. Lubbock. Yep. Uh, gave them the name Red Raiders because of their all red uniforms and coast to coast schedule. Mm-hmm. So, and they, they they kept referencing what I was looking at a masked writer. Yeah. So, guy who steals stuff. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so the wolf pack, man. It, it got one, one singular guy yep. versus a pack of wolves. He can he can shoot them with both guns if he wants, but those wolf they're packs, still, they're going to. They're gonna chomp at those ankles of this of his horse and eventually get to him. Advantage, wolf pack. Next one is the Kentucky Wildcats, big scary cat, versus the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. Do you know where Oakland is at? Uh Michigan. Yes. Not it's, Oakland. It's outside California. Of Detroit? I believe so. It's not Oakland, California. Uh Grizzlies, man. Yep. It's, it's hard to beat. Pretty hard straightforward. To beat. Big scary cat, but Pretty straightforward. It's a grizzly bear. Uh next one, we have a, a hyphen. So we got ourselves this. This is a, a pigtail bracket. So Boise, this is Boise but, State, Colorado. So it, the, uh, it would have it would end up probably the same way. Yep. Uh, Florida Gators strong in this bracket, strong uh, versus Boise State Broncos and the Colorado Buffalo. Buffaloes, Buffaloes, yeah, Buffaloes. Buffaloes. I think Buffaloes. Uh, still, it's a pigtail. So we're just going to advance Florida, but they would probably win anyway. Yeah, depends would, on I, the terrain. But I would, I would probably think a win Gator there. would eat. Yeah, they do eat. Horses and yeah. and water buffalo and water buffalo is primarily yeah uh okay next one Marquette Golden Eagles versus the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers yep what is a hilltopper and if you wouldn't mind pulling up their mascot as well so it's grimace with red yep so slightly uh still creepy if you if I you know was sleeping look oh at that. boy if if yeah that's if that I is um, terrifying if I woke up with this thing just hovering over top of me like I mean to be fair if you woke up with any anything that you that you didn't go to bed next to hovering over you that would be weird that's true that's true but then this thing is like if if my if i'm sleeping at my parents house and i woke up with my dad hovering over top of me staring at me that's weird and i i love my dad jeff but that's weird jeff are you you sleeping yes good so so hilltopper they got their name because their school's located you guessed it on the top of a hill um sir mascot's a little creepy big red He's so, literally just red grimace. Yep. So he's meant to symbolize the spirit of Western Kentucky student and alumni. So we just, I don't know how that. I don't know what thing. it is. Like, I mean, it, I think the eagle. We're gonna advance a bird. Yeah, because this thing's just a blob of red. It's, it's a blob of red. It's 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 a uh, it's a fictitious thought of. Yeah, it's it's a, joy. a metaphor. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can't kill a metaphor, but a metaphor can't kill you. So, I mean. Yeah, it just it, is. It just is. Uh, so Marquette's moving on. Marquette's moving on. I think it's the only bird that's advanced. Yes. So uh, now we're finally in the Midwest region. Uh, this is the last of the first rounders, and we're going to get to the real humdinger matchups. So the Purdue Boilermakers versus, we have, a, again, a hyphen. Now this one, if we were going to uh, violate the rule, but we already have a rule that's in place, we advance past the pigtails, but Purdue Boilermakers versus the Montana State Grizz. Bobcats. Bobcats. Montana's Grizzlies. Montana State Bobcats versus... Mon- Montana State was the first school I went on an official visit to. I would imagine. Is that Billings? Beautiful. I would uh, imagine it's beautiful. I want to go to Montana. I can't remember where it was, but it was beautiful. Uh, anyway, and then Grambling. Tigers. Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. But because it's a pigtail. Shout in- out Terrence Lewis. Iowa State beat them by like 60 earlier on the season. So yeah, good for them. They made the tournament. Yeah. Uh, Purdue advancing just because. But Purdue, Boilermakers are? Someone who installs and maintains boiler systems. So we're going to go with, but that's on a train. So like a boiler system on a train. So we're going to go with big ass wrench. This guy has a big ass wrench that you have to be able to crank these huge bolts off of. So it's an engineer with a big ass wrench. Yep. Okay. Uh, but we're advancing them because it's a pigtail. Purdue naturally gets it. Okay. Uh, the Utah state Aggies versus the TCU horned frogs. TCU does not do well in this bracket. No. So yeah. So horned frogs, they're not poisonous. Um, so male- it's not like holes where it's the, the spotted lizards. No. Nope. Um, male horned frogs can grow to be four and a half inches big, female six and a half inches big. Um, they can deliver a bite, but they have no teeth. <laughs> so I would imagine that the, you know this. This I would imagine this, this Utah State Aggie is just going through his field. He sees a a, a toad, grabs him by its back, and, and it just bites him. He goes, Ow, man, yeah. and, and then and then smush. just finds a piece of pavement and just smokes him. Yes, yeah, horn frogs, man. Not an intimidating mascot. No, interesting. They're like it's, horn, horn frog. What's a horn frog? It just it's, it's different. It's just a frog. Just a toad. It's a non poisonous frog. Uh, so now we have no, no horns. No, they're just spiky. Yeah. So, uh, next one, a- Aggie's moving on. Aggie's moving on. First farmer to move on. Uh, no, second farmer, uh, Nebraska did, uh, 
Next no, one. No, A and M did. Oh, A and M did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Because they have a, they have a dog. It was cute. Uh, next one is the Gonzaga Bulldogs versus the McNeese State Cowboys. <sighs> Bulldogs are not fair and well in this They're one. Not fair and well, man. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. McNeese State Cowboys, move on. Uh, the next one we have Samford and Kansas. Who are we? Samford Bulldogs and the Kansas Jayhawks. So I think Bulldogs, we got one. We do. So Bulldogs so, did it. So Jayhawks, they did the, it. The, the term was first known to have been used in 1849 by a group of California-bound travelers passing through Kansas who called themselves the Jayhawkers. So it's a fictional bird, which is a cross between a hawk and a blue jay. Okay, be a weird hybrid, like a liger, but like a blue jay and a hawk. Like the logistics of that seem weird. A block, a block, <laughs> a block. Just take the the U. A block J. So I think Bulldogs. Yeah, Bulldogs. On. We got we got advancing. Yeah, Bulldogs made it. We got one. Good job, puppy. Uh, this one's a battle. Two two. Uh, oh, we got two birds. Two birds. Here, two yeah. birds. Uh, two next bir- one. Two birds, one stone. Here we go. South Carolina Gamecocks versus the Oregon Ducks. Ducks are pretty straightforward. That's it's a duck. Yep. Uh, Gamecocks though is a rooster bred and trained for cockfighting. Yeah, that's not good for the duck. They would mess up a duck. They would. <laughs> they probably actually have. Like if a duck flew into a like where that wherever the pen or coop that you keep a gamecock, that duck ain't leaving. I think uh, I think gamecocks have like talent. They have claws, crazy spurs, like, like legit, yeah, talon spurs. Yeah, uh, gamecocks win. Yep. Uh, this next one's fun. Next, I love this next one. I, Akron is my favorite. So it's Creighton Blue Jays. Pretty straightforward. straightforward. Uh, also, fun fact about just Blue Jays, they're dicks. The Blue Jays themselves. So uh, the just the nature of their actions. So they Blue Jays won't build a nest. They'll just find a nest that's already there, kick the eggs out of what's ever in there, and just squat in it and say, this is mine now. And when the bird comes back, they'll fight them. That's rude. That's why a lot of team names are Blue Jays, because it's a it's an aggressive-ass bird. That's rude. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, Dudes rock. <laughs> Blue Jays, jerk. Just jerks. Little tiny, jerks. Uh, versus the Akron Zips. Now, you've done some research on this, but I also did some research on this last time they were in here. I bet it. God bless the Akron Zips. So Akron is the Goodyear Rubber Factory, was originally, in, and probably still is, in Akron. And when they first made tires, they just had zip-on rubber covers that would just go over the tire of the original either automobile or whatever thing you have a tire on. So I don't remember the exact origin of who voted to be the name of it, but it's literally just a zip-on tire. That's what the zips are. It literally just a tire that zips over your wheel. That's it. That's the whole thing. Maybe something that could suffocate a blue jay. That could that could absolutely take on a blue jay. I mean, I, blue jays are mean though. Like you can't kill it, but it can't kill you. It's just there. Like, it, it can't move. It's just there. So so I, I the research I had done on zips, I I must have found something different. Anyway, continue. Uh, I, I saw they have a kangaroo is their actual like mascot guy. Uh yeah, but and and he has. So I thought it was shoes. Oh, zip on shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Because zip on tires, zip on shoes. Yeah, zip on shoes. Because in 1927, this is research I did, 1927, a campus wide contest was conducted to choose the nickname for the university's athletic teams. Student Margaret Hamlin suggests zippers, which is also the name of a popular rubber overshoe. Sold That's by, what it is. It's not a tire, but it's good, sold by Goodyear. Yep. Good Rich. Good Rich. Good Rich yep. tires. Akron's BF Goodrich Coet in 1950. I was way off. Oh, yeah. I was letting you go with it. Swanee, Swimmy, Samsa, Samsonite. I was like, I was like, man, my research must have been off here. Nope, you're right. Mine was two years ago. So, uh, so in 1950, then athletic director Kenneth Red Cochran shortened the nickname for Zips. So it's a big rubber boot. It's a shoe. Yeah, shoe. It's a shoe. That would kill. No, it wouldn't. It would kill it's Blue not Jay. on a person. It's just there. The Blue Jay could live in that shoe. It oh, would just build man. a nest in there. I was hoping Zips are going to advance. I was, I was imagining someone picking up the shoe and. <laughs> Oh, there's no other person there. It's just a shoe. It's just one shoe. Yeah, shoot. Okay. Okay. We got a cute little blue jay. Blue jay's moving He's on. Just a jerk. Congratulations, Creighton. They got an easy draw. That's a that's an easy draw. We have two matchups left. This one's a pigtail. Um, probably would win anyway. So this is the Texas Longhorns versus Virginia uh, Cavaliers. Ah, eh, no, Cavalier probably would take that down. Uh, Virginia Cavaliers and the Colorado State Rams. But because it's a pigtail, we're advancing Texas. However. Cavaliers are. Uh, so its origin lies in the 17th century when leading uh, when leading Virginians be, began to associate themselves with the royalists, the royalists or Cavaliers who fought for and remained loyal to King Charles the First. So they're traitors during the English Civil War. Those Cavaliers are traitors. Mm-hmm. 
I'm glad Texas Longhorns beating those. Yep. So Longhorns coats. moving on. Texas advancing. Uh, last one. This is not not good. It's adorable. Uh, so the Tennessee Volunteers versus the St. Peter's Peacocks. Yep. Very pretty bird. Not great in fighting. It is. No, and I'll get to that. Um, So Tennessee Volunteers, so Tennesseans, eagerness to step forward to serve in times of war. So there was a large number of them, a large number of volunteers who fought in the War of 1812. Under Andrew Jackson. Which is how they got the name uh, Volunteers. Yeah. Peacocks. Um, So peacocks themselves are not aggressive by nature, but they will defend themselves if they feel threatened or their territory is being encroached upon. So I looked it up. Has a peacock ever killed anybody? Has. Was it in Tennessee? Um, it was in Bangkok. Ah, okay. So, uh, Vic Kai, uh, Thong Tu, who lived near Bangkok, was killed by his pet peacock. Mr. Thong Tu was 30. He was feeding the family's four caged peacock, four caged peacocks, when the sole male, Yung Thong, golden peacock, clawed at his head, killing him. Wow. Good for peacocks to stand up for themselves. Not great because the volunteers, if we're talking, it's like the War of 1812, they had muskets. So, it's yeah. not a lot of firing in a row, but. You one probably, or two shots and then you got enough. a you got a rifle butt you can swing around in a peacock yeah Ad- advantage tennessee yeah so r.i.p in peace to uh vic chai thong too though terrible but terrible way to go down. bad way to go uh so that's the end of the first round and that's most of the time because we had to get some backstory on this so aiden we're gonna go back up to the east bracket because we have some some finishing to do so finishing or the uh did we, already, did we go Yukon? We got a Husky to advance. Yep. So we got a Husky versus a Wildcat. So Yukon playing against Northwestern. Sorry, puppy. Yep. Yeah. It's advantage Wildcat. Yep. Uh, San Diego State Aztecs, singular Aztec, one Aztec versus the Auburn Tigers. So you have one Tiger versus one Aztec. I, I think Tiger. Advantage Tiger. Yep. Yeah, I don't think this is really... I mean, it's. I would imagine there's some fighting skill, but also the Aztec weren't the tigers i believe weren't indigenous to central mexico or central and southern mexico into central america so they wouldn't have encountered them to know how to combat them yeah not great what about saber tooth tiger I, that would have definitely not been in the same like, biome back. there they would have been Wolf taiga Mammoth? tundra up there like really far north versus mm-hmm. rainforest towards the equator the aztec were not similar uh byu versus so cougar or cougars versus illini so we have indian or Native American, Native American again, versus, screw that up. So Native American versus Cougar. I think Cougars. I think Cougars probably. Yeah, because it's just one. It's just, yeah, it's just, just one Cougar. Just yeah, chief, and just one Chief Illini Weck. Yeah, just one Native American versus one Cougar. Yep, Cougars moving on. Okay, Washington State Cougars again, another Cougar versus Iowa State Cyclones. And Cyclones going to okay, pick Iowa that, State going to pick that Cougar up and really good fling that really thing. Really good because a Cyclone can spin off a tornado. Like it can cause both high winds, flooding, high rain, tornadoes. I mean, a lot of destruction. Trees downed, throwing rocks everywhere. The cyclones are good in this bracket. Chucking cougars. Chucking cougars. Yep. Throwing cougs. That's right. So uh, the Iowa State Cyclones advancing. Uh, now we're heading down to the West bracket in the second round matchup of the North Carolina Tar Heels. Again, guy who works on a boat or worked on a boat is now walking home uh, versus Michigan State Spartans. Sparta is going to win. Yeah, there's they've got weaponry and they're trained fighters. They're not trained ship builders. Right. So, I mean, maybe the Spartan theoretically was because Sparta would have had to build boats. So a Spartan could have built water, but we're assuming that it's a soldier because just you wouldn't name it after the Spartan shipbuilders. Yeah. It's sort of like what they're known for. Trained to be a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Grand Canyon uh, antelopes. Purple peep leaders. Weird <laughs> sack of peaches uh, versus the Alabama Crimson Tide, which we're using North African bush elephant. That North African bush elephant is going a long ways. Yeah. It, there's there's no, I mean, hard matchup. Hard yeah. matchup with the bush elephant. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the south bracket. The Clemson Tigers versus the Baylor Bears. Go Tigers. No. Ooh. Are you going to, are you actually taking the Tigers here? No, I'm taking the Bears. I just want to say go Tigers. Go Tigers. Uh, I, Grizzlies. Have you ever watched like any nature documentaries on grizzly bear attacks? No, I've seen The Remnant. The Revenant. Revenant. Whatever. Revenant. I, it's probably a movie, but it's not. The Remnant. The Revenant. Of the Remnant of the Revenant. <laughs> it's just whenever they didn't cut. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Leonardo DiCaprio getting a sandwich uh-huh. at uh, food services. Yeah. Look at those crumbs. Look at those remnants. <laughs> uh, okay. So Baylor Bears, Grizzly Bears, they move on. Uh, now we have very peculiar matchup. 
in the Nevada Wolfpack versus the Long Beach State Beach. Same theory as first round. <laughs> <laughs> that dog's going to get tired. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, we got to stick with the beach. I mean, the, how much beach are we talking? Is it all of Long Beach? beach? Is it all of Long Beach? Like it's the beach. full of Long Beach? It's just beach. It's just, it's just, just beach. Just, it's all beaches it's beach. everywhere. <laughs> just a beach. <laughs> it's not really a thing. Like it, it doesn't. It's not beaches plural. It's, it's not the beach. It is beach. It's just beach. It's just the just concept the of Ada a Hay- beach. The Ada Hayden Beach. It's just anything that is a beach. The Long Beach State Beach. Do we go with Long Beach State Beach? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how big is this beach? If it's one square, or it's like one square centimeter of beach. Then the wolf pack digs that out very easily. I would say I would say Long Long Beach State Beach is as big as a, a basketball court is wide. Okay, so a basketball court of beach. Sure. Okay. Well, I think we have to go with the Long Beach State Beach then. Yeah, I think so. And then it's going to be replenished by the what? I mean, it's just that's a that's a weird matchup. The Long Beach State Beach. Yep. Well, that's the end of the last bracket. How does how do you Long Beach State? Who decided? I mean, not who. I was a it was a vote, but like. They were the 49ers before, and then they would just became the beach. Which, while Aiden's pulling up the next bracket, the South bracket, there's a couple, just one, not a couple, one team name that because of just doing like origin research. How has this not been changed yet? Is the Oklahoma Sooners. How have we, why are we embracing that? Like, does, okay, do we know, like, you guys know tell, the story behind that? It. So the Oklahoma Sooners, uh, Oklahoma became Indian territory. And if you're not sh- familiar with the United States government in the 17 and 1800s stance towards Native Americans, not great. Have you seen the movie or read the book, Killers of the Flower Moon? No, I have not yet. Read the book, awesome book. I'm not a big reader. Watch the movie, long movie, awesome movie. Uh, so what? Ter- terrible story. It's true, but. Yeah, lots of terrible stories yes. involving Native Americans on the, on the short end of the stick. So Oklahoma became Indian territory and Andrew Jackson just forced people to just march across that's what the Trail of Tears is. This is just from Florida all the way over to Oklahoma and said, you live here now. And they just kicked him out, Georgia and Oklahoma. Anyway, they get there. It's in Oklahoma. And then after violating treaties and violating treaties and violating treaties, the U.S. government said, all right, settlers, this land that we said was the, in, the uh, Native Americans and Indians, it's yours now. But you have to wait till 12 noon. And so that those people that on that real estate boom, those were boomers. So boomer. That's the boomer part. Sooners, 12 o'clock, it wasn't Adam standard time there. And so you literally had, they had to wait. They had, it was roped off. Like you, you had you had to stand outside of this rope. But any land that you put a stake in, it could have been yours if you got there. So it would make sense if you left a little early to get this land that you could just have. So the people that left too soon became Sooners to steal land that was already someone else's. So why have we so a boomer sooner is literally guy who went in and got land for free and sooner is someone who cheated to do so why are we still okay with this i mean kick him to the sec moving on so in the south bracket i agree though i, I think i think it, that not, feels not, like a, not, not to get my soapbox but i feel like there should be i'm not trying to sound woke but that just feels like the sooners like that it's just like a cheater it'd be like if you were named like the oklahoma cheaters it Oklahoma doesn't seem like a good thing to be like celebrating ad- adulterers. Yeah, like the, the Oklahoma adulterers. Uh, cool. I mean, you can celebrate that as much as you want. Anyway, the Oklahoma State mistresses, the Longwood Lancers, which we've already talked about. Dude is strapped. Yes, strapped. Versus Texas A&M Aggies. They are a farmer with a cute little dog. Those craps aren't going to save you. Uh, it's not going to go well. Uh, Wisconsin Badgers versus World War One fighter with a sniper rifle. Probably going to snipe some badgers. Yeah, it's probably going to snipe some badgers. So uh, the Duke Blue Devils. Moving on. Moving on. Advancing. Uh, NC State Wolfpack versus the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. That's a fun matchup here. Yeah, it is. Um, I think the Wolfpack by numbers. Yeah. I mean, wolves are big. They're big. And depending on how big the Wolfpack is, assume that it's the size of a basketball team. So 13. Sure. 13 wolves. 13 Wolves versus one What about Grizzly. coaches and trainers and... And support staff, administration. It's a pack. It's a, This is like the Lion King. It's like a lion would never lose to a hyena, but there's... Several hyenas. Several hyenas. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Grizz, one Grizzly Great versus point. one Wolf. Definitely going to take the Grizzly, but a pack of Wolves. I think NC State advancing yeah. over the Golden Grizzlies. I think so. Of the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. What is a Golden Grizzly? It's just a... Is, that a, just a, is that a real bear? I don't know. It's like, why is a cow Golden Bears? 
it's just the same thing. It's just a specific color of bear. That's right. I suppose they just have like a, they get like just for men there, just for bears. Yeah. Next, Florida Gators versus the Marquette Golden Eagles. Sorry, adios, birds. adios, Eagles. Yeah. Sorry, birds. I'm not sure about this one. No, 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 Hey, and these Golden Eagles were trying to pick food out of them, out of that Florida Gator's teeth, and that, that Gator just chomped down, took off his head. Yeah, but what if the Eagle is just coming from up above and he's like poking it in the eye every 10 minutes or something? I, at some point on one of those swoops, the Gator's going to snap him. You think? Ch- the Gator that got Chubbs only had one eye. <laughs> he can, head. He can get it. He can get it. Advantage Gators. Yeah, birds don't do well. No, they don't. Uh, not great in the bracket. Okay, so now we're going to the final round of 32. Round of 32? Yeah, so Purdue Boilermakers versus Utah State Aggie. So we've got Engineer with a big old wrench versus a farmer. Yeah, I think a wrench would probably knock out an Aggie. You're not probably. Gonna, you can chuck some tomatoes at him, but that's not going to knock you out yeah. of wrench wood. <laughs> Advantage Purdue. They've had an easy draw so far. They have. They, they had a buy, and then they had a farmer, which, again, in the grand scheme of fighting things, not great. Purdue could, in real life, they could use an easy draw. So oh. Counterpoint. What if Utah State can dodge a wrench? <laughs> I'm both proud of you and disappointed at the same time. Okay. McNeese State Cowboys versus the Samford Bulldogs. Bulldogs. I think we got to go dogs. Cowboys. Yeah, sorry, dog. Yeah. We have a horse. And I actually have, I, I have McNeese and Samford winning some of my brackets. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, M- M- McNeese is nasty. They went like 30 and three. They, they have a bunch of former uh, Will Wade coaching, right? Yeah, Will LSU Wade coach. from L- old LSU coach. The, a, a lot of transfers. The guy who got fired from LSU because of illegal stuff that he was doing, paying players. Yeah, he and paid now players for it was cool. Totally yeah. legal to and, pay and, players. And Sanford, uh, they got them go. And Kansas is a little depleted, but yeah. Well, it depends on. I mean, if, if it also depends on health. We're not talking about basketball. We're talking about the You're South right. Carolina Gamecocks versus the Creighton Blue Jays. Bird, bird in the second round. Another bird, bird. South Carolina. Had South Carolina. A that's easy. Duck in the first one. That's, oh, yeah. yeah, they they. Uh, South Carolina moving on. South Carolina, fighting chickens. Moving on. Uh, Texas Longhorns versus Tennessee Volunteers. The Volunteers are about to volunteer. get gorged. Oh, what? Volunteer actually has a firearm, but they don't have horns. That's true, but he has a gun. Yeah, you're right. I feel like that that takes an advantage. Like, you're not going to get it just once. But the problem is, it's a it's like it's from the 1812 or from the, 1812. They these, have to these, reload that. You get one shot. But these volunteers, they're volunteers. They're not trained. They're volunteers. Well, I mean, most soldiers back in that time actually were volunteers. They weren't really paid. Not too many of them were paid. Mm. Uh, you trying you trying to tell me Bevo wouldn't mess up a volunteer? I mean, he probably might. Just one Longhorn versus one volunteer. Oh, you know, you think you swayed me? Like a. I, I feel like Bevo could. I feel like Bevo you could withstand could, one. Could charge him. He could. Poof. Yeah, and he could hit. He could hit with a few one. shells, but he don't walk with a limp. He could. <laughs> if you get, and it's a musket, where it's not a, a reload. Oh yeah. So this, you get this, one shot. This volunteer is one loaded, opportunity. He's about to get gorged. And it's you miss once, done. Horn through you. Uh, Texas advantage Moving Longhorns. On. Now to the east, the Northwestern Wildcats versus the Auburn Tigers. Go Tigers. The tigers already taken down a Wildcat. Haven't they already taken down a Wildcat? I think so. But some Tiger has taken down a Wildcat somewhere. Uh, advantage Auburn. Yeah, no. Tigers. Auburn hasn't, but yeah, some, some Wildcat has, or some Tiger has. Uh, Iowa State Cyclones versus BYU Cougars. This is another Cougar Cyclone matchup. It's mm-hmm. the second Cougar Cyclone matchup that Iowa State has played in a row. We've already established the fact. They're going to sling them. You know, pick that Cougar by his tail and see it. So, adv- I, Advantage. Iowa State. Yeah. Iowa State advances. This is no bias either. This We're is no bias. Nope. Strictly. This is a cyclone. A cougar would not survive a cyclone if the cyclone's full force was directed at this cougar. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to then, just because of this, the, the logistics, we're going to head over to the south region. So the south region, we have Longwood, the 16 seed. Lancers. Longwood Lancers versus Duke Blue Devils. Again, got, so guy on a horse strapped up versus sniper. But this is a sniper from... 1917 so this isn't like we're talking about you know this isn't like a government this isn't like 2005 yeah. yeah this is like 1917 yeah i think i mean duke probably just because he can he's stealthy enough but he's wearing a blue jacket like why are you wearing blue if you're trying to camouflage yourself that is interesting it feels but the problem is terrain so i guess we have to go through where this is so now we we've oh, this is the first time we've had to reach this this debate here phone a friend phone a friend so now the rule here is if you can't determine between the two you have to look at where the game is actually being played 
and the terrain of that location. So this is the South region. This is being played in Dallas. In Dallas, Texas. Pretty flat. Pretty flat. A uh, guy in a blue shirt stands out versus guy who has lance, saber, sidearm, machine gun. And a horse. And a horse. I think the blue devils are going down. I think so too. I think the I think along with Lancers is just simply unless they hit him right away. But you can see him. You know exactly where he's coming from. You can take cover with whatever shrubbery you need to. Yeah. Along with Lancers. Moving being on. Blue Devils. Uh the other matchup is the NC State Wolfpack versus the Florida Gators. I don't know how well a Wolfpack could penetrate a Gators uh hard exterior. However, I we are playing in Dallas. Not a lot of water in Dallas. No, when there's no, when there's a tiebreaker, we have to when there's a close matchup, yep. we have to bring in geography. This is it being played in Dallas? There are rivers, I think, somewhat through Dallas. There's some, there's some rivers there's some. in Dallas. But there's a wolf pack that is probably able to withstand the loss of one or two. The gator's gonna get one or two. Or three. Oh, the, the, actual, the, the, the gator will get his. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna have some lunch, but then the but the I think the, will, I think Wolfpack's gonna take it just by by volume. Yeah, overwhelm. Yeah, the Gators. NC State moving on. NC State Wolfpack and along with Lancers serving as the representatives for the Elite Eight. How about it? Now we're gonna go to the West Regional, Michigan State Spartans versus the Alabama Crimson Tide, being represented by a North African bush elephant. North African bush elephant, man. Yeah, that's a that's hard. And it's a Spartan. It's one not Spartan. It's one yeah, Spartan. Not Spartan. Uh, he'd stomp him. One. There's one singular Spartan. That's a advantage Crimson Tide. Tide moving on. Baylor Bears, a grizzly bear versus the Beach. <laughs> it's Beach again. <laughs> it's the Long Beach State Beach. What is it? How big is this? It's a basketball court sized beach. 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 It just yeah. it is. Yeah. The Long Beach State Beach. The Grizzlies gonna get tired. that bear would be he'd be hot, he'd so be hot. tired. Yeah, relax. It's salt water, so he can't even like. I mean, maybe it's fresh water because this is now we're in the West region. This is L.A. This is the actual beach. He, what if he can step into the water quick and grab himself? Oh, salmon, no, he can't. Salmon won't be there. Yeah, but no, he's salmon. No, there's not going to be any salmon. It, he, it's what salt he, water. No he, salmon at the beach. What, what if what if he feasts on LB the shark? Well, we're not. It's LB's not involved. This is mm-hmm. the beach. This right. is just a beach. Right. That's a home game for Albie. <laughs> yeah, it's a home game. He goes to the water. He goes to the water. You're, he's, right. you're dragged in. You're an 800 pound tuna. Yeah, me and my buddies. We develop a breathing apparatus. Come chase you. Yeah, I didn't see that coming, did you? No, I didn't. Uh, Midwest region, Purdue, Boilermaker, guy with wrench, uh, versus the McNeese State Cowboys. Firearms. Yeah. McNeese moving on. McNeese moving on. Uh, South Carolina Gamecocks finally. Ran into a non-bird opponent, and it's Bevo. Met his opponent. Met, met his match. Met his match. Texas, that's not close. Yeah. He no. might, sc- the, the Gamehawk might scratch him once or twice, but well, Bevo's, Bevo's going to hit him with one of the horns and See game it. over. Yeah. So our Elite Eight has now been settled, and it involves, I mean, it's, I don't know if you pick this, you're probably going to win a lot of money in, in the bracket. So let's, let's finish while we're here. So I'll wait. Aiden's got the screen up. Let's just stay down here with the Elite Eight. So this is the representative from the West region. We are still playing this in Los Angeles. This is the Alabama Crimson Tide, represented by a North African bush elephant, versus the Long Beach State Beach. It's the same thing. The beach. The Long Beach, the, the North African bush elephant is going to run into trouble yeah. just because it's an inanimate thing. It's just gone. Yeah. It, what's, what's the bush elephant going to do? It's saltwater because we're playing in Los Angeles. It's a, it's a saltwater beach. Yeah, I don't think an elephant would last long on a beach. This no. is the definition of pound sand. Pound sand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pound sand, Alabama. Long Beach State, the 15 seed to the final four, representing the West region. Gotta love it. Oh, man. Next one. McNeese State Cowboys versus Texas Longhorns. I think the Cowboy... Cowboy was built for this. It's literally yeah. what they do. Yeah. Like, cowboy. Like, he's meant to wrangle cows. Yep. Bevo is a cow. He's just a big horned cow. Yeah, yeah, he uh, advantage Cowboys. Do you remember Rocco's Modern Life? Yeah, I do. They had a they had a big old steer in that, in that uh, I don't remember the name, but Rocco's Modern Life had a had a steer in that, and that's what I think of when I think of Bevo. Sometimes and, I think it, when uh, Bevo charged Uga. Yeah, remember that when the Texas Georgia game? I do. Uga, Uga, Uga got, back down. Yeah, he's he, he, hey hey jumped, he jumped up at him. Get at me, get at me. I mean, we've already established the fact that the dogs don't do well. In this type of combat, not backing down though. He's not backing Get down. Get your weight up. That's right. 
well, he needs to get his weight up because he's several orders of magnitude smaller than Bevo. Mm -hmm. Very, it's like the definition of an ankle biter. He's Bevo, got, Bevo, he's got you hold army. Bevo. He's got that. It's the dog, the dog everywhere, in, on, around. Big if true. Okay, east and south regions. It is true, and that's big. Uh, Auburn Tigers versus the Iowa State Cyclones. Sorry, Tigers. Sorry, Tigers. The Iowa State Cyclones advance, in which that. Our final four matchup is strong Woo! on that side. Yeah, it is. On the south side, the south bracket, this is now being played, again, in Dallas. Uh, this is Longwood Lancers versus NC State Wolfpack. I think the Wolfpack. Wolfpack again. One. I mean, the Lancers going to get his. Lancers are they're impressive. It's but going to get a couple. Uh, you might shoot one. Might, might get one with the Lance. But all of the Wolfpack are going to take down your horse. Yeah. And they're going to take you down. They'll consume them in time. Yeah, it's... The, the Wolfpack advance. Yep. So Wolfpack advance. So our final four, we've got, uh, we'll, we'll start on the, the South Midwest matchup. Final four, and this is being take, taking place in Glendale, Arizona. This is in the desert. NC State Wolfpack versus McNeese State Cowboys. Advantage Wolfpack. Wolfpack, moving on. Well, yep. this is, I mean, the McNeese, the Cowboys, that's a pretty easy draw, actually, to get all the way there. They didn't have to face any Grizzlies. They yeah. didn't have to face any Tigers, the Cougars, really. They just... Probably some birds. Pretty easy draw. Yeah. Uh, this I is... I think the this beach is, has met its match. This is this what... This is like Iowa State playing Michigan State in the Elite Eight. This is the... We've this is the finally game. found the matchup for the Long Beach State Beach, and it's your Iowa State Cyclones. That's right. Cyclones can actually flood a beach. The Cyclones objectively can beat a beach. Or they'll take the sand and just, you know, and just throw it around. Get it out of here. There is the only team in the entire bracket that could beat the Long Beach State Beach, knock them out in the final four, and it's the Iowa State Cyclones. You don't think the purple people eaters could have? Oh, that's terrifying. Mm -hmm. that's, you, uh, I mean, just imagine him rolling around in the sand. <laughs> if you've ever been to a beach, you probably have. Yeah. <laughs> If you haven't looked up that picture, please do. So your national championship. I just got itchy thinking of that. <laughs> just got a gold bond ready. Yeah. Uh, your national championship matchup is the Iowa State Cyclones versus the NC State Wolfpack. No bias here. No bias here. Iowa State Cyclones, your national champions in the mascot bracket. That's right. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, 2024 2024 champions. national champions. National championships, your Iowa State Cyclones. Uh, total points? Uh, what do we got for total points? To, to get this tiebreaker to actually be submitted for 420. Probably, um, I mean, NC State's not scoring more than 60 points. I mean, yeah, the, the tight defense of a storm in the ocean. Yeah. And Wolves could, they're going to deflate the basketball every time they get it. I think it's seven points, like by just nature of a ball being whipped into a basket at some point. Sure. I don't think the Wolf, the wolf Packers score. I think just statistics, if you put enough basketballs in a wind tunnel, some of them are going to bounce up into the basket. Probably about 69 points. Seven. 69 oh. points? Nope. This is kid-friendly. 6.9, 6. I said. 6.9. Yeah, 6.9 yeah. 6. oh, points. I don't yeah. think they're going to put a decimal we'll, in. We'll, we'll round it to 7. We'll I seven points. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This was the dumbest thing that, we can, that we've done, but it's also one of the most fun. Something different. Though, Something sure, like, different. Like you said, you know, there's going to be plenty of content that's realistic. And realistic. And, and you know, you're going to get some of that. Iowa State tips off on Thursday. We didn't do this with the women's bracket because obviously we're an hour and some change yeah. into this stupid thing. If we did the women's bracket, you know who would win? You know who would win the women's bracket? Probably Iowa State. Cyclones. Green Bay. Oh, oh they're in, in the it. tournament. Green Bay's in the oh. tournament. They're the Phoenix. The Green. We can just skip the whole thing. Green Bay is going to win the women's tournament in the mascot bracket because they're the Phoenix. They literally are an undying, undying mythical bird that you've cannot kill they always rise back from the ashes you can't kill them green bay wins doesn't matter so i was that men they play thursday in omaha at 6 35 on true tv so if you are going to the game enjoy that if you're not that's how you can watch it and then uh the women let's see if i can figure this out they play in palo alto i believe it's 6 35 on friday so they play maryland which it's i'm just excited for this 6 30 on espn too you can we can add on friday information as much as we want to just have fun with it yep. i mean that's the whole point of this episode but just have fun with watching it you hope iowa state does well and i think they will and if they don't it makes the tournament less fun but even as if they get to the sweet 16 elite eight all those things just enjoy the ride i don't know that's the whole thing for me is don't get all hung up on seating and who's playing who and who's how they were disrespected or whatever just 
it's just watch the games and have fun. It's a special season for both the men and the women for different reasons. I don't know. We've, it's going to be fun. We've kind of talked about, too, the seeding is overrated. I mean, once you're in the tournament, you're in. I you're mean, in, and yeah, you've got to yeah, play yeah, good teams everywhere. Yeah, yeah, 16 seed is probably not going to be the one seed, but like an eight versus a, like Texas A&M, they're, they're a nine seed, I think, and Kentucky's a three seed. Well, A&M's beaten Kentucky this year. It's so like, this Who cares? don't really matter. Yeah. Who cares? The, the, the one thing I, I will say that when I, you know, filling out the brackets, if Iowa State, if they do advance as far, say they advance to the national championship, which is a pipe dream, they would have to beat UConn if they w- beat Auburn, uh, presumably, in Boston, which would be tough. And then they would face Arizona if they would get that far in Phoenix, in which would also be tough. Which, who knows? Yep. FAU was in the Final Four last year. Yep. So, so just, I think let's just focus on uh, South Dakota State for now and then go from there. Just focus on the team in front of you and Iowa State, will, they'll do well. Thanks, everybody, for listening. That was... I was excited for this, and it was as much fun for us to do as I was hoping it would be. Hopefully, it was fun for you to listen to. Uh, I said, brought to you by Goldfinch Athletics. Go to goldfinchathletics.com slash jobs. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Comment, rate, review, subscribe, whatever everybody says there. Give us feedback, though. If you guys like this, we'd like to hear from you. Um, And as always, remember, adopt, don't shop.